Hello everyone! Welcome back to Lose Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm your host, PhoenixFire76. And, yes, this is my second attempt at trying to record this part of the Let's Play because I forgot to record the video the last time. So, here we go. Uh, World 3-1. Let's go. Right away. No fooling around because I already spent too much time on this part the first time around. Uh, so yeah, duck right down here, get a free power up. Uh, most of these places where the water sort of, give, you know, there's no land underneath you, uh, under the sea, you will die. But, um, not there. Free power up. And here you can jump right over the level, get another free power up. So you could start this level small and come out big. And that's it. That's the end of the level. <laughs> um, not quite. Actually it is, but we're going to do one other thing quick after we kill that blooper there, you see. Um, stay to the top of these note blocks here because right there you see the little tips of that lotus guy. He means business. Um, but if you stay right at the top, uh, they won't get you. You see they're already faded by the time they get about halfway up. So, easy. Oh, what? I hit that on the lower left. I swear I did. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. I hit it on the lower left. Wow. Wow. Alright, well, whatever. I don't need it. You'll see why. You'll see why soon. Very soon. Um... So yeah, got another uh, fire flower, and here we have the, the end, end spade again. I won't pretend I haven't done a little bit of this. Um, I was saying in, the, in my original recording, which you will never ever hear now, um, a lot of times these two are paired, these two corners, especially when they are uh, when it's a star man in one. Um, the other thing is that this diagonal, which this uh, star man, the top one, is a part of, will often, obviously not now, but often be uh, three uh, mushrooms. So that's something to keep in mind too. Um, as I said, without the Nintendo Power book, yes, um, it, it's, um, uh, I don't know. Well, I suppose I could look it up online too, but I think this one up is over here. No, 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 not there. Wait. Aha. Aha, yes. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's try this. And this. Aha. Ooh, we might, I don't want to jinx it yet. Let's try this. No. Oh. I got farther than I did the first time, which I suppose is good since it's my second time doing it. Alright, this level's tough. Um, yeah, especially if you fall in the water. Do not fall in the water. That's a, um, oh, that was, that was a Starman in that middle block, and that, that first question block had another or fire flower, but we don't have time for that. We gotta move on. Um, this level is tricky only if you fall off the platform, and only if you don't have, uh, fire flower. Um, if you don't have fire flower and you fall in the water, you're dead. You're, you're dead. <laughs> um, it's, it's really, really tough otherwise. That, I believe, has a 1-up. Whoopsie daisy. Um, I believe that has a 1-up. We're going to attempt fate here, because that has a power-up. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry. Concentrating. Not speaking. Concentrating. Okay, good. Got it. Let's go. Um, yeah, tough. Um, the cheap cheeps just keep coming. They, they Again, they're similar... No. Um... Oh. They, they just have this weird sort of random pattern to their jumping, and I don't know, it, it might just be me, but I always seem to guess wrong with them. Always. Always. Um, so here's another nifty fact about World 3 that I never thought of before. Uh, I, I really seriously didn't consider this at all until very, very recently in my life, which is really disturbing. Um, but you can see that the worlds are sort of overlaid over the water and the land, and as you remember in World 3.1 here, um, we were completely in the water, and that's where the stage is. And here in 3.2, we were sort of half on land, half on water, which we just were. And same thing with level 3. You see, we're, we're going to be kind of on the water and kind of not. And I don't know. Never noticed that before, but it's cool. And here we are, finally, as promised, in the mushroom house with the green fireballs. And we're just going to blast out with green fireballs. It's so strange how they just change colors like that. Um, get a frog suit for our trouble. <laughs> the trouble of opening up a chest. Da -da 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 or however that thing goes from that other game. Um, yeah, this is a tough one. The tides are sort of coming in and out, and we've got uh, Big Bertha, I believe her name is, um, and she is tough because she just keeps coming back. You can kill her as many times as you can, but she just keeps coming back. You have very little time uh, when you kill her, and basically you want to just keep seeking higher ground. Fire Flower, um, not 100% ne uh, necessary. A little bit of lag there, hopefully. Um, that doesn't come across on the, uh, the video. Um, too many sprites on the screen. Uh, there was a piece switch somewhere. Oh my goodness. Um, get, get up. Higher ground. Um, yeah, there was, uh, a piece switch there that I could have walked across, but no time. No time. Yeah. 
keep killing her every chance you get because uh, invariably you will get stuck somewhere and wait whoa that was close she will swallow you whole not pleasant another one up plenty of them everywhere yeah wait for her to come back kill her again run run don't swim run <laughs> just comes back it's quick I mean, what was that like four seconds not even uh it's quick so take care of her quick and let's go that's it mushroom yeah whatever doesn't matter you'll see soon it does not matter all right we're on the way to the first fortress of uh, world three that is um drive on some roto roto discs i forget what they're called um yeah so if you don't have a leaf and uh if you want a leaf uh raccoon's tail that is uh, come here to the third door, and you can get uh, unlimited power-ups. Basically, just keep going through that third door, as I said before uh, on another part. Um, they just keep respawning, or, you know, I don't think item blocks actually respawn. I don't know what it is, but do do a quick little double-take there between, um, you know, the boos to keep them both in check. Skip these both for now. Um, well, you'll see what I mean by these both. Obviously, there were like six doors that I skipped over, but go all the way to the ninth one. And you get this little bonus area here, and that's it. There's just some coins. There's really nothing here at all. I mean, I always want to think that there's a power up here, but there just isn't. But you don't need it, obviously. So that's it. Some coins for, you know, again, no effort. Some dry bones here. I, I suppose you could do that dry bones trick here, but I don't really think you could get high enough to do it. Um, go through the fifth door, the fifth overall door here. And oh no, that was poor form there. Um, yeah, so that's, you can see those other doors are where you would end up, there's that power-up, um, or another power-up, rather. Um, you see those doors are where the other, uh, doors, which is, say, the first door, the second door, the fourth, and the seventh and the eighth doors lead. Um, I missed, uh, this block entirely, which is weird, but it's a one-up. Fifth door for the one-up, and sixth door to move on. Simple. You know, you can do a trial and error if you don't remember it, but we're gonna have a little bit of fun here, or try to anyways. And uh, yeah, Boom Boom takes flight, but we'll show him who has mastery over the skies here. And boom, and whoa, boom. And maybe that's why they call him Boom Boom, I don't know. That was lame, that was awful. I'm sorry, I apologize already. I apologize, that was awful. I knew it as soon as I said it, that was terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it, you know, you can see if he does take flight, uh, you know, for, on extended period of time, he can actually get kind of difficult. He just sort of dive bombs, but um, as long as you don't do anything too stupid, you'll be fine. Um, see, I'm breaking all these blocks here. There are certain points in the map when the ham where the ha when, when you encounter the Hammer Brothers that they will actually have some items on them. Um, in those blocks, rather, I should say. Obviously, the Hammer Brothers always give you items. That's the whole point of them. But uh, yes, another interesting fact is when you have them when they are in the water, um, you will get them and have this little bit of water here. Now that's not a big deal when you're Super Mario or any variant thereof, but if you're Small Mario, um, it'll be... Oh, oh, is this the one with the thing over it? Oh, I think it is. Oh, see there's items in the sky, I think, too, on one of them. But uh, yeah, so if, you're, if you see them over, this, over any patch of water over here, or over here, or over here, um, don't, don't encounter them if you're Small Mario, or if you do, um, make sure you have a Starman because they will be real trouble. Um, because it'll be just like going in water and you will have to try and swim. And uh, Hammer Brothers and water, they don't mix. They do not mix. All right, so we get a nice little break from the water here. There's a tiny patch of it there, but um, what you wanna do is only, ah, boy. Only kill two of them. Um, you'll see why in a second. Come up here, knock this guy out really quickly because he um, he gives you uh, uh, micro Goombas and you don't want them. Ah, uh, no, that's gonna be big trouble. Now I can't take out the Piranha Plant. Come halfway through these blocks here and we get our friend Lakitu. Um, he is not your friendly neighborhood Lakitu from Super Mario 64. He is the mean kind. The oh boy. Well, I suppose only only. Half of Lakitu's were, were, were friendly in Super Mario 64. Um, there were some nasty ones too, but not as nasty as these guys here. They mean business. Um, but we're going to exploit the game. Um, uh, I, I, you know, these are things that I wonder. Am I exploiting the game here, or was this intentional? Um, you know, did the programmers... Whoa, that was close. Whoa. Yeah, you got to watch out here. 
Oh, he's gonna nail me with one of those, isn't he? Um, you know, was this intentional? Or was this something that was just exploited and, and no one ever really thought of? Is it like a, you know, a, a flaw in the game code? You know, just a complete glitch, really. Um, obviously, the jumping on the Koopas and the Goombas and everything else, like I showed in World 1 2, obviously that was intentional. Um, but I wonder if this sort of thing was. I don't know. But you can sit here all day. You do have to kind of be a little bit careful because um, sometimes, as you kind of saw in the beginning, he gets a little, if he's not perfectly in sync, um, those things can get spiked down onto your platform. And, um, you know, eventually you, can, you might have to start jumping on and dodging them. But right now I think I've got it pretty solidly. Um, which is great, unfortunately. I will die when trying to get out of here. I, I'm pretty much guaranteed to die, because um, Lakitu is just evil like that, but uh, as you can see, uh, it won't matter. <laughs> um, incidentally, I don't know who else thought this, but there is a level in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I th New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I think it's in the second world, like 2-5 maybe, 2-4. Uh, you have Yoshi at the time, and um, there's a lack of two involved, and I swear I saw this pattern. Like it was seeing like something like it was like like seeing a chess move like five moves ahead of time. I just saw how the stars would align to you know exploit this pattern uh, in that game as well, um, and I was just so overjoyed that they included it. Um, it just made me so happy, and I did it like right away the first time. Much 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 easier to set that up in Super Mario Brothers Wii. Let me tell you, time expiring. Here we go. Wait, don't hit it yet. Try and get one more. Uh, I'm trying to get a lot of guys on screen here. More sprites. Need more sprites. Give me more spinies. Stop wiping them. Yeah. Yeah, if you get uh, five of them, you get another one up. You see all those points. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. Another one would be eight, and then the final one would be the extra one up. Um, another benefit of uh, doing those unlimited lives is we get another end card. Um, they're great because they just keep coming um, with all those extra points that we were getting. So we're going to get that next time, though. Um, that does it for this part of Lose Let's Play Super Mario Bros. Wii. I'm um, your host, Phoenixfire76. Join me all next time. See ya!